Hi, this video will be both a roundup of the news in the FreeBSD world and a channel update of sorts to end 2020. A year I think we would all agree to be less than enjoyable. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. The pieces of news in this video are the ones that stood out to me personally. There are others, of course, and more than likely I will be reminded of these uh, below. Uh, and that's a welcome thing. So if you can think of any that I should have mentioned, then please leave them in the comment section down below. So, to start, we will enter the month of March and a release of the great mobile version of FreeBSD an OS that perfectly hits the ground running, a great OS that comfortably achieves the aim set out by the developers. Next, in June, we have a new code of conduct from the FreeBSD project based on the LLVM code of conduct, which replaces the previous 2018 code of conduct that was based on the Geek Feminism code of conduct. So, if you can count how many times I said code and conduct, give yourself a gold star. Then, also in June, a new version of the 11 branch of FreeBSD was released, full of lovely FreeBSD goodliness for those who are still on that particular branch. The following month of July saw three important announcements. First, another Nomad BSD release, this time a small point release, 1.3.2, but no less brilliant. Secondly, work was restarted on getting support for the 802.11 AC up and into FreeBSD, a very important goal for many people, thanks to the involvement of FreeBSD Foundation sponsorship. And speaking of the FreeBSD Foundation, they celebrated a remarkable 20 years of promoting and supporting the FreeBSD project. Next, in August, a release from the GhostBSD team, with many improvements to an already amazing OS, and they just keep on getting better and better with every release, and that benefits us all. So, nice work there. Also nice work was the merging of OpenZFS into FreeBSD, something that will allow FreeBSD to have up-to-date ZFS availability on par with other OSs that have it. Excellent job indeed. October saw both a good and bad set of news items. The good, which we'll start with first, was that FreeBSD saw its long-awaited release of 12.2, a fantastic achievement, and the OS I use as my daily driver. The whole FreeBSD development team and the community at large can hold their heads up and be proud of this OS and the work that's gone into it. Thank you one and all. But sadly, we say goodbye to Fury BSD. And with it, a very promising, ready out of the box FreeBSD desktop OS. I think many people were sorry to see this go. As the year starts to wind down, November saw a release of course BSD. And this is exciting for many reasons, one of which is improved gaming via Steam using the Linuxulator. A great idea and something I think that will be developed more in future releases. The final month in the year saw three key events. Firstly, the announcement that FreeBSD merges WiredGuard support into the FreeBSD 13 branch is an exciting one for many people who use the open source secure VPN. Also, the announcement that the FreeBSD dock repo has been converted to Git from subversion will also be welcomed by many. We said goodbye to Aris Blue BSD, at least for the foreseeable future, which again, like Fury BSD, is a shame, and it's always sad to see potential not fulfilled. Never say never, of course, but for now, it's not being worked on anymore, and we'll see what happens in the new year. On a more local level, I have managed to put 93, maybe now 94 videos out in 2020, which is quite a feat for me. Although I can't promise the same number for 2021, I'll try to get a video at least once a week, and at most, if the wind blows in the right direction, possibly two. But health issues jumped on me in 2020, and being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes is just about capped a year, I think, that we would all like to forget. Overall, I'm happy with the varied content, and plan to continue with very much the same formula. I often get asked to do server-related content, and I'm happy to do that, but I feel there are better videos out there dealing with that. So, for the time being, I'll concentrate on everything non-server related. I'll continue to do as many reviews or overviews as I can, but I feel maybe I should concentrate more on Nomad BSD or Midnight BSD. I, I don't know. I don't tend to plan too far ahead. But I'll be continuing with 
FreeBSD and GhostBSD, of course. Speaking of far ahead, I've been playing with the idea that maybe I should appear in the videos more, and this is something I have thought about, and I once promised to someone that I would do this if the channel ever got 5,000 uh, subs. And as the year ends, and that figure is getting closer, it's something that I will have to consider. Maybe in a bookend format. Um, something similar that explaining computers uh, Christopher Barnett does. He does it very well. He's a, a consummate professional, um, and I can't promise the same kind of slick production values, but I prefer that style. Besides, it's easier to edit mistakes out of audio than video, uh, while still keeping the format smooth. I often don't script my videos, I prefer to wing it, as they like to say, but for two videos, in particular where I did use a script, they performed very well, and that was when... Um, and that has perhaps spurred me to consider doing more scripted tracks. We'll see. One area I would love to cover is the Raspberry Pi, so perhaps that's something I will look into. And before I go, I just want to thank all the new subscribers that have joined in 2020. I always read the comments, and I like to think I reply to 99%. So if you've got any questions or suggestions for videos, then please drop them in the comment section. I'll have a look, and someone will choose, but I can't promise to do them all. Not unless I'm cloned, of course. Anyway, have a happier new year. I'm off to have a low-carb, low-sugar celebration, and I'll see you again in the new year. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.